Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Bajos Exam Prep. My name is Naveen, and today I'll be taking you through Testnet previous year questions, the maths part. Okay, so let's not waste any time and let's start solving the questions. So please remember the questions are always pretty simple. You do not have to think, oh, you do not have to overthink. Okay, uh, use options as much as possible. Yeah, use a lot of common sense. <clears throat> depending upon the options if possible write down the cases don't try to generate the formula and then try to find out ki answer kya hoga theek hai chalo this is the first question let's see what answer are you guys getting <clears throat> So given y is a natural number, how many values of y are possible for y square minus 5y plus 5 raised to y minus 8 to the power uh, into y plus 6 is equal to 1. Okay. So uh, if we have, you know, overall value of something equal to 1 it means uh, it is of the form some number to the power 0 is equal to 1 right or it could be 1 to the power some number so 1 to the power anything that is going to give us 1 and then we will have uh, uh, minus 1 to the power even that is also going to give us one, right? So these are the three cases where we get uh, the overall value to be one when you have exponents involved, okay? So let's take the first case. So if you're talking about the first case, we need to have the base is not our concern, the power should be zero. That means y minus eight into y plus six should be equal to zero. This is going to give us the value of y, values of y as minus six and eight. So we get two values, okay? Now, if we put minus six or eight in the base, it really doesn't matter, right? Whatever it will result in, you will get the answer. Second scenario, what if, if the base is 1, as in y square minus 5y plus 5, if this is equal to 1, so this is going to give us y square minus 5y plus, achha, abhi b option eliminate nahi karna chahiye, you know? plus 4 is equal to 0. This is going, this can be factorized as y minus 1 into y minus 4 is equal to 0. Uh, this is going to give us the values of y as 1 and 4. So, so far we are given three, we, we find three natural numbers, right? 1, 4 and 18 nikal gaya. So, b and d to answer is not there. Third case, <clears throat> what if, if the base is minus 1? So, we have y square minus 5y plus 5 is equal to minus 1. And when we solve this, we'll have y square minus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. This can be factorized as y minus 2 into y minus 3. That is going to be 0. And this is going to result in two values of y, which are 2 and 3. Now, we need to put the value of y is equal to 2 as well as 3, 1 by 1, in the power to see if it turns to, to be even or not. So, if we put y is equal to 2, we will have minus 6 so this is what we will have minus 1 to the power minus 6 into 8 which is going to give us even right this will be as in not even as in minus 1 to the power even over here right so this makes sense if i put 3 here so i will have minus 1 3 minus 8 which is odd minus 5 and uh, 3 plus 6 is 9 so this is minus 1 to the power odd and this is going to generate a minus 1, so we can't accept that. So 3 is not acceptable, 2 is. So how many natural numbers do we get? We get 8, 1, 4 and 2. So total, there are 4 values of y wherein we can, as in uh, that will solve this particular equation, right? 
सिलेबस ऑफ टेस्टनेट अमन सिलेबस वही है सेम द वन दैट यू हैड फॉर कैट ओके फाइन नेक्स्ट इज दिस क्वेश्चन अब है कैन कंप्लीट अ पीस ऑफ वर्क इन 18 डेज बलराम इन 20 डेज एंड चंदन इन 30 डेज बलराम एंड चंदन स्टार्टेड द वर्क बट वी आर फोर्स टू लीव आफ्टर टू डेज हाउ मेनी डेज विल अभय टेक टू कंप्लीट द रिमेनिंग वर्क अलोन अ वेरी सिंपल स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑन टाइम एंड वर्क देर इज नो ट्रिक हेयर देर इज नो लैंग्वेज ट्रिक हेयर राइट so what we do in such cases we assume the total work so total work is nothing but it's going to be lcm of the durations that we see which is 18 20 and 30 so 18 ka lcm mein 90 is not in the table of 20 let's take 180 units now if i talk about efficiency of abhay this is going to be 10 units per day If we talk about efficiency of uh, Balram, this is going to be nine units per day. And if we talk about efficiency of Chandan, this is going to be one eighty by thirty, which is six units per day. Now, question is given that total work is one eighty. Balram and Chandan started, so they have been doing nine plus six fifteen units every day. right but they were working for only 2 days because after that they were forced to leave now abhay comes in and abhay is supposed to finish the remaining work in how many days will he finish it so later on after 2 days only abhay is working and initially abhay was not working for the 2 days <clears throat> so this is going to give us uh, this is nothing but 15 into 2 30 we have 180 over here and this is 10 into d Thirty plus one fifty is one uh, eighty. Ten into fifteen is one fifty. So Abhay will take fifteen days to complete the remaining work alone. Right? Right. See, good, good. Okay. Another question. Uh, looks like question on clocks or maybe a question on LCM H C F logic. Four different clocks beep after every twenty-five minutes, fifty minutes, one hour forty minutes, and two hour five minutes. If all clocks beep together at five a.m., then when will they beep together? Right? That it has not asked the immediate beep. It may be the third beep or maybe the fourth beep. Right? Immediate beep हो सकता है, second beep हो सकता है, third beep हो सकता है. So you can understand that this is a question based on LCM, right? uh so 25 50 1 hour 40 minutes is nothing but 100 minutes and 2 hour 5 minutes is nothing but 125 minutes so we are supposed to take the lcm of these numbers so 125 ke table mein 125 100 ke table mein nahi aata uh 250 nahi aata so you will realize that this is going to be 500 minutes and 500 minutes is nothing but if we convert this into um, hours so this is going to be 8 into 6 48 so 8 hours and 20 minutes so it's going to be 8 hours in 20 minutes post 5 am so that is uh, 8 plus 5 is 13 so 13 hours 20 minutes 13 hours 20 minutes is nothing but 1 hour 20 minutes of afternoon so 120 नहीं आशीष 120 ट्वेंटी एट आवर्स हुआ ना फाइव प्लस एट इज थर्टीन नॉट इलेवन फाइव प्लस सिक्स इज इलेवन नेक्स्ट वन द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट क्यूबॉइड दैट गेट्स फॉर्म बाय प्लेसिंग फाइव आइस क्यूब्स एडजस्टेड टू ईच अदर ईच ऑफ हुज साइड इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट so can be solved in a lot of different ways but if we say that these are the five ice cubes placed adjacent to each other in this format so we will have a cube that is going to be formed which will look something like this 
So it's going to be cuboid, right? So whose side is 5, that means this is going to be 5. This one is going to be 5 into 5, 25. And the depth or the breadth is going to be 5. So we need to find out the surface area, right? So surface area is given as uh, 2 times length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length. Using this, this is going to be 2 times 5 into 25 plus 25 into 5 plus 5 into 5. So this is going to be 2 times 125 plus 125, 250 plus 25. So 250 plus 25 is 275. 2 times of 275, this is going to be 550, okay. So this is one approach. The other approach would be, what is the surface area of this particular square face? Can we say 25 centimeters square? All you have to do is count how many such faces we have. So we have 5 in the front, we have 5 on the top, we have 5 at the rear, we have 5 at the bottom. So can we say we have 5 into 4, 20 such faces, square faces around and then we have one face to the right and one face to the left. So that is 2 more into 25. So this is going to be 22 into 25, 25 into 2 is 50, 25 into 2 is 50, so 5, 5, 0. So you can also do this rather than using the formula 2LB plus BH plus LH. Okay. A vase made of glass when sold for rupees 9600 fetches 20% profit. What would be the percent profit loss if 15 such vases are sold at a wholesale price of rupees 8250 each? Right. So if you have practiced enough profit loss and discount uh, percentage uh, topic, you will realize that it's very straightforward. Ki if this is the selling price and if this is the profit percentage, what would be the cost price? Hit and trial. Kar lete. Hai? Obviously, since it's a profit and selling price is 9600, the cost will So a value less than 9600 and a simple value. Hai? So 9,600 से पहले 9,000, 9,000 if suppose cost is 9,000 and 20% profit we are dealing with, so that will be 1,800 rupees more. So 9,000 plus 1,800 will be more than 9,600. So 9,000 cost doesn't make sense. Let's reduce it. Let's go to 8,000 now. If 8,000 is the cost, 20% of 8,000 is going to be 1,600, right? So if the cost is 8,000, so 20% is going to be 1,600. 8,000 plus 1,600 is 9,600. Makes sense, right? Now, if it is sold at 8,250 instead of 8,000 now, so can we say there is a profit of 250 rupees over that 8,000 rupees? So 25, uh, by 8%, right? We don't have to deal with 15 such vases because uh, whether it is one vase or whether there are 100 vases, it, it doesn't really matter, right? So 250 rupees out of 8,000. So, ये तो point में आ रहा है. So, this is more than 3%, right? This is 3.33%. Hmm. Looks like the closest answer is 3%, we will have to go with it, right? And uh, these are all previous year questions of this, okay? 
हाँ सो वन बाई थर्टी टू इज वॉट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट नो नहीं थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट नहीं होता है वन बाई थर्टी टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री क्यों लिख रहा हूँ सॉरी दिस इज नॉट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री दिस इज एट इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर वन बाई एट इज पॉइंट वन टू फाइव थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव परसेंट हो गया वन बाई थर्टी टू इज थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव परसेंट एनी वेज द क्लोजेस्ट ऑप्शन इज थ्री परसेंट वी विल हैव टू मार्क इट सो इफ यू कम अक्रॉस सच अ क्वेश्चन वेयर योर ऑप्शन डजेंट मैच एंड यू आर प्रिटी श्योर वंस यू आर वेरीफाइड क्रॉस चेक योर सोल्यूशन एंड यू रियलाइज दैट यू नो ऑप्शन डू नॉट मैच गो विद द नियरेस्ट ऑप्शन इज द क्वेश्चन नो वेर इट इज सेट फाइंड द अप्रॉक्सिमेट प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंटेज राइट पर uh, हमें अप्रॉक्सीमेट ही जाना पड़ेगा कोई और चारा नहीं है ओके नेक्स्ट इन ए क्लास ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव स्टूडेंट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव आर गर्ल्स इन ए टेस्ट थर्टी स्टूडेंट स्कोर अब नाइनटी परसेंट मार्क्स एंड एटीन ऑफ देम आर गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स अ स्टूडेंट इज सेलेक्टेड एट रैंडम द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ सेलेक्टिंग ए गर्ल्स स्कोरिंग अब नाइनटी परसेंट मार्क्स इज नाउ फॉर दिस आई वुड लाइक यू गाइज टू actually try on your own i will not straight away start with this solution let's see if you can understand how do we go ahead with it kya karna chahiye it's okay legal so a probability question from testnet right you you are going to expect probability question but they are going to be as simple as this this is not difficult this may sound difficult because a lot of values are involved percentages involved par us percentage ko koi kaam hai nahi as such no so we have 45 students <coughs> excuse me out of which 25 are girls that means the remaining 20 are boys Now there was a test. Out of which 30 students scored 90 percent, say, zada marks, above 90 percent marks. Out of which 18 of them are girl students. So can we say out of these 25, there are 18 girls who have scored more than 90 percent marks in that test? And obviously the remaining seven girls they have scored 90 percent or less, right? So 30 students may say 18 girls hain. So that means 12 are boys. Who have scored ninety percent से ज़्यादा and the remaining eight boys they have scored ninety percent or less, right? The entire division though it was not required. Now the question is the probability of selecting a girl scoring above ninety percent marks is ninety percent above marks कितना है? Eighteen girls हैं. Out of those eighteen girls, uh, not out of those eighteen girls, those those eighteen girls are out of forty five students. So eighteen by forty-five. This could have been simplified because they both are divisible by nine. It could simplify to give you two by five, which is forty percent probability. But फिर भी they have not simplified the options, you know? Right, Vicky. Straightforward question, था. I just you know wrote other values so that you understand that this is you you may have come across such questions a lot, right? Where same data is classified into two different categories. Okay, next one. The canteen sells four types of chocolates: A, B, C, D. The cost of A is rupees ten. That for B is six, five. C is eight, and D is eleven. I have rupees hundred with me to spend. If I buy four chocolates of type D and five chocolates of type C, then how many chocolates of type A and B I can buy so that I can use the maximum of the rupees hundred that I have? so one of the options is none of the above so you will have to most probably you know solve options will may not give you the um you know the, the accurate answer so if you talk about a that is 10 rupees how many of them don't know if you talk about b 
that is 5 rupees how many of them don't know if we talk about c that is 8 rupees how many of them 5 chocolates of type c so 5 if i talk about d d costs 11 how many of them 4 chocolates and the total amount spent is going to be 100 or less than 100 right we have to maximize it so this is nothing but 40 plus 44 which is 84 mm. Okay. So the next step is going to be 10a plus 5b is less than equal to 100 minus 84 which is going to be 16. Now you can understand that if you take three types of b that itself is 15 and one type of a will exceed. So yes, sense nahi banta hai. If you take two types of b that is 20, 10 in itself and one type of a is another 10 that will again exceed 16. So this also doesn't make sense. If you take one of each a and b type, so that is 15 which is the maximum we can get because the left hand side terms are in the table of 5 and the right hand side value is 16. So the maximum you can reach by saying a number in the table of 5 is up to 15 only. You can't reach 16 no matter what. Hana? So Charlie makes sense. Right, good, good, good. Everyone is correct. Okay, age-based question, maybe average, maybe linear equation. The father's age and daughter's age add up to 55. The daughter's age is the reverse of her father's, and the difference in their ages is more than 10. How old is the daughter? Pretty simple, we can use the option. Father's age and daughter's age add up to 55. And these are the ages of daughter. So, father ka age kya kya hoga? 12, 41, 32, 23. Now, of course, from these four options, uh, option number A doesn't make sense. Option number D doesn't make sense. How come daughter is elder than the father? Right? Between B and C, the difference in the ages is only 9 here, while the difference over here is more than 10 as per the condition. So, obviously, B makes sense. We can save ourselves equations. Itti to practice kar chuke ho abhi tak. So, bravo is your answer. Rishav. Three types of B and zero types of A bhi chalega. But when you already have an option which will fetch you a 15, why would I go after the other scenario? Agar ye wala option nahi hota C wala. Suppose had this been one type of B and two types of A. Then we would have marked none of the above because we can't reach 15. 10 or 5 ke table mein jaake you can only reach 15. Right? 0 and 3 ya 1 1. These are the only two possibilities if you think about it. In do mein se, agar ek koi bhi hai, to we will accept it, no? Because question is not how many ways are there. Question is 99 rupees kharch hoga. Because 16 completely nahi ho ra. 15 tak ja rahe. So 99 can be reached, no? That is the maximum. Question is what is the maximum, uh, you know, of the 100 rupees I can spend. That is the reason why we'll have to go with C and not D. Okay. Okay. Next one. If the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon, so it's a question on polygon, sum of uh, measure of uh, interior angles. Uh, 1440 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? So if you remember the formula, it's a direct formula based question, right? So, what is the sum? What is the formula? How do you calculate sum of interior angles of a regular polygon? Anyone? N into 180 degrees minus 360 degrees. Ye hota hai. 360 degrees is exterior. 
So interior will be n into 180 minus 360. Out of two variables, the left hand side, sum of exterior angles and n, we know the left side, pata hai, n will come out of So it is given as 1440 degrees is equal to n into 180 degrees minus 360 degrees. If we take 360 to the other side, we will have 1800 degrees is equal to n into 180. So I don't think I need another step. You guys already know the answer. N here denotes the number of sides or the number of vertices, doesn't matter, and denotes either of them. Right? Because regular polygon or polygon, the, um, you know, the number of sides is always same as the number of vertices, always. So N is equal to 10. Right. Option A. Next one. Nilofer decides to distribute 200 chocolates equally to her students. But two of her older students come and she has to redistribute the same chocolates to all of them now. Now her present students get five chocolates lesser than what they were getting earlier. So Nilofer's present students are. So how many students do we have? Okay. So what we can do over here is uh, we can straight away use the options. Okay. So pala option let there. Suppose there are 10 students, this is present and this is later, later and present. So later may do bad jayenge, right? So suppose if I use the option A, so present suppose there are 10 students. If there are 10 students and if you want to distribute 200 chocolates among them, to per student, how many will each get? 20? Now later when two more students come in, there will be 12 students and same 200 chocolates are, need, are, are to be distributed. So how many, uh, so per student kitna jayega fir? I should make more sense. So 200 by 12, which is going to be in points, definitely not 5 chocolates less. A to nahi hoga. Going by the same logic, if I use 15, we are going to get stuck in the very first calculation. 200 by 15 is a fraction. 200 by 17 is also a fraction. Difference of two fractions in its simplest form will never be an integer. Right? I hope you guys are aware of that. So 15 bhi ho sakta. If we take 7, then this becomes 9. 200 by 7 and 200 by 9, they are not divisible. So this will also not make sense. So ek hi option basta. Let's verify it. So we have present 8 students, so 200 by 8, 25 milega bhar bachche ko. And later on, if there are 10 students, so 200 by 10, 20 milega bhar bachche ko. So there was a reduction of 5 chocolates as per the question. So it confirms the condition, so this becomes our answer. Delta. Rishab equations nahi, options. You don't have a theta question in this net, right? So, Hamesha options rangel, always you will get. Okay, next. Of the 850 students who wrote the entrance exam at a center, 550 did very well in the mathematics and logical paper. 600 did very well in English language proficiency and 350 did very well in both. How many students did not do very well in maths and logic? <laughs> I was thinking how come they have given us a set theory ka question with three Venn diagrams. So I was worried while I was reading this and then realized that it's, it's, it's a very simple question. This question is like, uh, suppose there are uh, 110 mangoes on a mango tree. Okay, 110 mangoes on a mango tree. You have to answer this quick. If I pluck 30 of them, how many do I have? So normally people will answer 80. But if you, if, if you have heard the question carefully, I said, if I pluck 30 of them, so how many do I have? So I have 30. Yoga. Same way, out of 850 students, if 550 did very well in maths and logical reasoning, 
सो हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डिड नॉट डू वेरी वेल इन मैथ्स एंड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एवरीथिंग एल्स इज रिडेंडेंट कोई काम का नहीं है वो सब क्या करना है उसका राइट right? ओके यही माइनस ही करोगे ना नेक्स्ट वन अ टेलीकॉम सर्विस ऑपरेटर अनाउंस दैट बिटवीन एट पी एम एंड एट ए एम ऑल आउट गोइंग कॉल्स एंड टेक्स मैसेजेस शैल बी चार्ज एट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द चार्ज रेट एज एप्लीकेबल फ्रॉम एट ए एम टू एट पी एम ठीक है पैसे घटा देते हैं रात को ताकि लोग ज्यादा बात करें यूजेज हो उसको आफ्टर अवेलिंग ऑफ दिस बेनिफिट माई बिल रिड्यूज रिड्यूज बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ माई कॉल्स एंड एस एम एस ड्यूरिंग डे एंड नाइट टाइम nice question actually so this is not something which will strike immediate par again idhar bhi options use kar sakte ho aap okay so let's say my rash my my calls and as instead of calls and sms let's only talk about एस एम एस कॉल्स इग्नोर कर देते हैं वी कैन क्लब दे मैन से एवरीथिंग वॉज एस एम एस ओके सो लेट्स इग्नोर कॉल्स बिकॉज इफ यू ब्रिंग इन कॉल्स देन वी विल हैव टू ब्रिंग इन वन मोर वेरिएबल क्योंकि कॉल्स का प्राइस अलग है दूसरे का प्राइस अलग है ठीक है सो इसको हटाइए दो ओनली लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टेक्सट मैसेजेस एंड एस एम एस एस ओके सो यूजिंग दी ऑप्शन सपोज इफ आई चूज दी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन so during day if i used to you know drop in two messages so wo mere ko 2 rupees lagte the and night time when i used to send three messages that used to cost me 3 rupees so it used to cost me 5 rupees this was my previous bill okay now because of this new announcement new uh, offer माई डे का तो दो रुपए अभी भी लगेगा आई विलेंडिंगशन इज देर सो दिस इज वन रुपी फिफ्टी पैसे सो टोटल माई बिल इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री फिफ्टी सो दिस इज माई न्यू बिल सो क्वेश्चन इज इज दिस रिडक्शन ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट इन दिल फाइव रुपीज का ट्वेंटी परसेंट वट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ फाइव रुपीज दैट्स वन रुपी सो फाइव रुपीज इफ इट रिड्यूस बाई वन रुपी इट शुड है नॉट थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस इज वे वे मोर सो ए नहीं हो सकता राइट इफ आई लुक एट लेट से सी ठीक है मैं रैंडम जंप कर गया हूं वी कैन चूज बी ऑल्सो सो आई एम लाइक सी लेते हैं क्योंकि टू का फिफ्टी परसेंट करना आसान है राइट आई विल नॉट बी डीलिंग विथ पॉइंट्स सो दिस वाज थ्री रुपीज ड्यूरिंग द डे एंड टू रुपीज ड्यूरिंग द नाइट सो इनिशियल बिल यूज टू बी फाइव रुपीज फॉर मी नाउ माई थ्री रुपीज इज ड्यूरिंग द डे वो तो पूरे पैसे लग रहे हैं बट नाइट का इंस्टेड ऑफ टू रुपीज फिफ्टी परसेंट रिडक्शन विल हैपन सो टू रुपीज विल बिकम वन रुपी सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्पेंड फोर रुपीज is this a reduction of 20% yes it is if we use variables and all that equations likhna solve karna it will be more time consuming right so 5 has to become 4 so charlie is our answer okay 13th what is the next number in the series 3 10 29 66 agla wala kya hoga so i've given enough time 
3 can be written as 1 cube plus 2, 10 can be written as 2 cube plus 2, 29 can be written as 3 cube plus 2, 66 can be written as 4 cube plus 2. <clears throat> now question is how did I realize that we are dealing with cubes of numbers? Because the numbers are increasing drastically, bahut jaldi jaldi changes are hai. right, first thing. Uh, secondly, these numbers 3, 10, 29, 66, these are very close to perfect cubes. They are close to perfect squares also to some extent. For example, 10 is close to 9, 29 is close to 5, 66 is close to 64. But the numbers whose squares we are trying to say, they are not in a pattern. 1, 3, 5, 7 ki jagah direct 8. Hai na? And I say bhi, this is 1 square plus 2, this is 3 square plus 1. That is 5 square plus 4. That is 8 square plus 2. But the kuch bhi chal raha. So there is no pattern if you take perfect squares. But if you take perfect cubes, it makes a lot of sense. So the next one should be 5 cube plus 2. 5 cube plus 2. I don't know what 5 cube is, but I'm pretty sure it will end in 7. 5 ka power kuch bhi 5 se end hota hai. Plus 2 will end in 7. So the only option that ends in 7 is B. 127. Right, Rishav. <clears throat> Everyone who is everyone who is watching, please make sure that you uh, like the video. That's it. Bas ek bar wahan pe click kar do. Okay, next one. In a large circular pool of 20 feet diameter, two frogs start swimming from east and west ends of the pool, named A and C respectively, towards a worm on the northern edge of the pool at point B. What is the measure of the angle ABC? Uh, uska kaam hi kya? Is it even required 20 feet? How does it matter? In any circle, if this is west and east, this is east, west, and there is somebody at the north, question is what is the angle that it subtends here? So this is the angle subtended by the diameter, right? So it's going to be 90 doesn't have anything to do with uh, the diameter circle kafi hai. so basic geometry question on circles isse asaan sawal to kisi exam mein nahi aata even bank pos mein nahi aata as in banking or cds rbi ke exams upsc okay next one the sum of three consecutive prime numbers is 83 what shall be the square of the largest among the three numbers if its digits are reversed? Again, options. Right. So, square of the largest among the three numbers if its digits are reversed. 169 is square of 13. 83 is not a square of anything. 961 is a square of 31. 31 is not a square of anything. Now, this is after the digits are reversed. So, this one is reversed. Agar reversed nahi kiya jaya, so can we say the largest is 31? If the largest is 31, what would be the penultimate prime numbers? Because we are talking about consecutive. 29, 27 is not a prime number, 25 is not, 23 is. So, is the sum equal to 83? If the sum is equal to 83, Alpha is our answer. If it is not, Charlie is our answer. Because these two are B and D to squares hai bhi nahi. Right? So, if you add this, you are going to get 83 here. So, Alpha is our answer. So, you guys can see that options are extremely helpful. You will, not a single question I have solved using variables or equations. Ek, ek equation likha tha in time and work question. Hai na? Baki sorry options. Jaldi jaldi. <coughs> Haan, Pranjal, the previous year uh, question is the game of general awareness in my opinion. As parents, is it like a piece of cake? Uh, Rishab, no. No. 
UPSC aspirants are not comfortable with English. I, I agree that they will be very much comfortable with these all. But English bhi unko bahut khista hai. And it's not that UPSC uh, aspirants, they uh, appear for uh, tests and they clear it. So far, I have never had a student who was preparing for UPSC managed to get into tests. Tests mein achcha achcha logo ka nahi hota. Okay, it's not the first stage. It's the interview. Interview is highly, highly difficult. UPSC ka alag level hai, of course. That's more theoretical. But uh, here it is, uh, it, it is more about, uh, uh, you know, the policy making of the government and the companies and the laws. Right? The UPSC aspirant is not but it is not the test. Mein as far as I remember, somewhere around uh, 10, 12 years ago, TIS did not even have an entrance. They had form nikalta tha. Okay, they used to release a form, all you had to do was fill it and they used to call you for direct interview. There was no, because nobody knew about this back then. It was not such a big thing. Okay. And they were like, come on, let interview, let me show you clear karke dikha do. And it was then also very, very difficult. Now, people have, uh, people know now about this a lot. So, they need to screen the candidates first because thousands of people can interview up nahi le sakte. That's where in this aptitude entrance uh, thing kicked in. And this kicked in like some 8, 9 years ago. Uske pehle nahi tha. Okay. So, it is asaan nahi hai. Okay. So, I believe you guys must have uh, liked the video. Uh, new batches are going to start very soon. We are already running few batches for CAT 2023 uh, program. So, if you join this, and if you have, if you're targeting, uh, you know, this year's CAT, so you will be given a tablet, which will include more than 300 uh, uh, engaging videos. Uh, there will be live classroom sessions uh, uh, taken by faculties who are at least 99 percentile or 100 percentiles. Uh, mock test and practice tests uh, will be provided to you with more than 75 mocks with video solutions. That's the important thing. Uh, more than 10,000 practice questions are there in your account then. More than 300 engaging videos are there which are kept as recorded for you to watch. You will be given books wherein you can uh, solve the questions offline mode. You can any day send doubts to us. Uh, GDPI and VAT uh, preparation is also being helped with. So we will help you with uh, uh, sessions which some of them are going to be recorded ones, some of them are going to be live ones. Uh, you will be given study notes from the faculty. So all the notes that we write, those are uploaded as PDF. So you can access them. You don't have to spend time writing the notes. And everyone has the same notes, right? And you will also be given, you know, formula, ebook, or previous year questions. You don't have to search here and there. So if you guys are targeting, please make sure that you enroll. The link to this is given in the description. It has already been put in the chat as well. Uh, you can avail up to 90% scholarship in the program, okay. There is going to be a scholarship test that is going to happen on 21st and at 7 p.m. So you register this today itself and make sure that you write this, okay. If you not give this year, you will give it practice for the test, right. So far. 27,000 plus students have won this scholarship test and, uh, you know, more than one crore amount of scholarship has been provided by us. Okay. Uh, a session as to why CAT 2023 preparation time is apt for now. As in January, say, shuru karna kyu zaruri hai. Max by February, it should not delay by that. Why? What are the reasons? What are the obstacles you are going to face? These all things are going to be discussed by uh, Mr. Srinivas. Uh, it's going to happen on 24th of Jan at 7 p.m. So please mark your calendar. Make sure that you attend this. Okay. And for this also, you'll have to register. For that also, the link is given. From 21st Jan to 29th Jan, we are bringing you All India Open Mock for CMI 2023. Okay, uh, you will be given video solutions, you will be able to devise the strategy and you will get to know 
your strengths and weaknesses so you know which topics to work on which topics to ignore right so get the real cmat experience so register for that and uh, don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel uh, follow our instagram page and uh, like our facebook posts you can join our telegram channel which is byju's exam prep for mba and you can download our app um, uh, byju's app it's uh, the link for the download is given in the description below well thank you everyone for joining take care until the next time see you soon bye bye mode of exam is english only yes vicky obviously it's english how many people nowadays appear for test pranjal uh, i believe it's somewhere around 10000 people uh, 7000 to 10000 okay chalo bye bye